How much more lovely the dull gray block upon which we walk, when interrupted, broken, and torn at the corners, showing instead a patch of earth. How much more lovely these old red bricks, found ever framed by oak and beech and cherry. How much more lovely to walk out of your door and bid good morning first to the walnuts and maples, because the sun is still struggling to make his way through their loving arms in the dreamy haze of promise that accompanies each day. How much more lovely. I was walking through Academic Quad, that perfect moment where you see all the sun just glistening through the trees. You see students walking and meandering through these different paths. I felt like at that particular moment, I belonged. We have this history where Super Bowl winning quarterbacks, presidents have walked these same sidewalks and I was one of the same with them. Miami really is unique in wanting you to design your education, to get what you want out of it. I expected there to be some type of blueprint for what I was supposed to do in college. And the thing is, there is no set way to do things. There's so much more here at the school. You will get out of your education what you put in. You have faculty that are fighting for you every day to make sure that you have the resources that you need. A good teacher listens well. A good teacher understands what a student needs. Because they show that they care, it makes students want to learn more. It makes us want to create that connection. College wasn't easy for me, and I don't think it's easy for anybody, especially if you don't know all the ins and outs of it. Whatever advice I need, he's always there. I don't know if he knows how much he's affected so many of my friends and myself at all. And I think he does it because he, he truly cares. I want to be a teacher because of the teachers I had. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Miami students are an amazing group of people because they think big and they have a lot of courage and passion and dedication and commitment. I really wanted to be in engineering because I wanted to be a role model for young girls, showing that we can do what other men can do. Miami, they allow me to take classes outside my major. Learning is like a continuous spectrum. It's not just sitting in a classroom learning one thing, but you have to apply it to everything. There's always something that makes you want to be a part of Miami. Fun moment, every moment, every weekend. <laughs> in Miami, grades come first, but at the same time, this is college and you have to have fun. You can't wrap your mind around what it's like to live in the dorms and know that there's 250 other people right in your spot. If there's a night that you want to go out, there's always someone willing to go out. After a week of being up until 2 in the morning doing homework, I think you're allowed to stay up until 2 in the morning doing other things. Sometimes people define success as money or how well they did in their career. I think more importantly success is how you lead your life to a higher purpose. And I think that's what we try to bring out in students, is that thinking about not only what's my first job, but sort of what it's going to be in the future and how I can transform lives, how I can serve others, because I think that's a much more meaningful definition than success. Over 90% of students in the architecture department study abroad. It offered a way to travel and go to a unique place like Ghana, Africa. 
When we first struck ground is when I really started to understand why I was there. You're living and working in a small village outside of the rainforest. You look to your left and there's the site that you're building on and you look to your right and then there are the kids that are eventually going to be enjoying the building that you're building. Before I studied abroad, I felt like after I already graduated, I would either go to graduate school, I would work in an architecture firm, and then all of a sudden I go to Africa and experience something that is so much broader than anything that we'll do at school. It really helped to shatter the notion that I had to do what everyone else was doing. Love and honor is a phrase in our fight song, and it's used to celebrate victories, but also used to celebrate this wonderful family we call Miami. When you say love and honor to another Miamian, it's all about being part of a bigger community, being part of something bigger than yourself, that you're wrapped up in this community that we call Miami, that values the human relationships and values family and friendships and so forth. People know each other. People are there to help each other and support one another. I've had the ability to, to make a difference. Through working with different people here and engaging and interacting, that was when I realized that this is why I want to be here. People might come in here with their own stereotypes, but Miami is what you make it. Going to college is less about the degree that you get and more about the experiences that got you that degree. Have the courage not to worry about failing. We'll step outside your comfort zone. Step into situations where you could be vulnerable. Embrace failure with optimism because you're not going to succeed every single time. Go ahead and try it. Don't be afraid to fail. And if you fail, learn from it and move forward. Being able to fight back, move on, and accomplish it. That's the heart of Miami. I could be who I was where I was, and I needed that. I really needed that. There's so many experiences that Miami offers that I feel like you just can't have anywhere else. And the fact that they're situated on this campus and with these people makes it so much more special. I mean, it's been the best years of my life.